Hello. This video will cover key instructions for using the 3M Provena Restore Incision Management System. This video is intended for healthcare professionals. The 3M Provena Restore Incision Management System is indicated for the management of closed surgical incisions that continue to drain following sutured or stapled closure. By maintaining a closed environment and removing exudate via the application of negative pressure wound therapy. Prior to use, consult detailed product indications, safety information, and instructions contained in the clinician guide provided in the dressing cartons and system kit. The Provena Restore system includes multiple configurations and sizes of precision design dressings to be chosen based on the desired coverage area. Each dressing is single use and disposable. This video demonstrates two application examples for the Provena Restore Adaptiform Dressing. The Provena Restore system can be applied over most sutured or stapled incisions and is suitable for a variety of anatomical locations. First, let's cover some important safety information. This video will cover three important topics. How to apply the Provena Restore system, how to connect a Provena Restore dressing to a 3M VAC therapy unit, and how to correct a leak condition. Let's begin with our first section, how to apply the Provena Restore system. Before you apply the dressing, prepare the site with these steps. Surgical drains must be rooted under the skin beyond the boundary of the Provena Restore dressing. Open the sterile dressing package and remove the foam dressing using aseptic technique. Do not use if package has been torn or the sterile seal has been compromised. Next, use the enclosed ruler to measure the incision before cutting the foam dressing. Cut the foam dressing away from the wound site to the size necessary to cover the incision. The addition of sealing strips is optional for applications that involve one piece of foam dressing and recommended for applications where multiple foam dressing pieces meet. Sealing strips should have equal overlap on both foam dressing pieces. Remove one of the liners from the sealing strip. Sealing strips are tacky on both sides. Place sealing strip on border of foam dressing creating a continuous seal. The strip should be placed half on dressing and half off dressing and overlap the adhesive seal on each side of the dressing. This ensures a seal all around the edge of the dressing. Remove the remaining liner from the sealing strip. Repeat strip application around foam dressing as needed. With sealing strips applied, if used, position the foam dressing until the adhesive seal and white fabric are facing down. Center the foam dressing over the incision or surgical closure. Ensure the adhesive seal and white fabric are facing down. Press down around the border of the foam to ensure adhesion to the skin. Once the foam dressing has been applied to the incision, ensure all liners are removed before continuing with the drape application. Trim 3M vac drape as necessary. Ensure minimum overlap of 1.2 inches or 3 centimeters when using multiple pieces of drape. Ensure the vac drape covers a minimum of 1.2 inches or 3 centimeters of intact periwound skin. There is no drape under the blue handling bars. Carefully remove the middle section of layer 1 from the drape to expose adhesive. Leave the two end sections of layer one intact to maintain drape stability during application. The drape should be held by the blue handling bars. With the adhesive side down, apply the drape over foam and onto intact skin. Lift the drape at both ends and remove the two remaining end sections of layer one. Smooth out any wrinkles in the drape to remove creases and seal joints, ensuring an occlusive seal. 
Carefully remove striped layer two from drape. Remove the two blue handling bars. Add additional drape as needed to cover the foam dressing. Next, apply the 3M Sensor Track Pad. Choose Pad Application Site. Pinch drape and carefully cut an approximately 2.5 cm hole through the drape. The hole should be large enough to allow for removal of fluid and exudate. It is not necessary to cut into the foam. Apply pad, which has a central disc and a surrounding outer adhesive skirt. Remove both backing layers 1 and 2 to expose adhesive. Place pad opening in central disc directly over hole in the drape. Apply gentle pressure on the central disc and outer skirt to ensure complete adhesion of the pad. Pull back on blue tab to remove pad stabilization layer. Next, connect the dressing to the 3M Provena Plus 125 therapy unit. Remove the canister from the sterile package and insert it into the Provena Plus 125 therapy unit. Slide the bottom of the canister into the slot on the bottom of the therapy unit and close the canister against the therapy unit. Connect the 3M Provena Plus connector to the canister by aligning and plugging connector at the end of tubing onto tubing ports on side of canister. Push together firmly. Ensure clamp on tube is open. Position clamp away from patient. Connect and lock the sensor track pad tubing to the Provena Plus connector by pushing the connectors together and then twisting them. Now you're ready to begin therapy by pressing and holding the on-off button for three seconds. The green lights on the front of the unit will illuminate, indicating that therapy is on. With therapy on, be sure to assess the dressing to ensure integrity of the seal. The dressing should have a wrinkled appearance and the foam bolster should be compressed. To interrupt therapy or turn the unit off, press and hold the center of the on-off button for three seconds. Let's now move on to our second section, how to connect to a 3M VAC therapy unit. Provena dressings can be connected directly to a 3M VAC therapy unit. These units consist of ActiVac, VAC RX4, and VAC Alter therapy units. Start by inserting the canister into the VAC therapy unit. Connect the Provena Restore dressing tubing to the VAC therapy unit canister tubing by pushing and twisting the connectors to lock. Ensure that the clamp on the canister tubing is open. Set back therapy unit at negative 125 millimeters of mercury, continuous, and activate the system. Do not choose any other negative pressure setting or intermittent or dynamic pressure control therapy modes of negative pressure. Finally, begin therapy.
Let's now move on to our final section, how to correct a leak condition. If there is a leak around the dressing, a solid yellow LED will turn on above the leak symbol on the device. The leak alert will sound two beeps, repeating every 15 seconds. To correct a leak and create an adequate seal, follow these steps. First, with the therapy unit on, press down through the drape onto the adhesive seal all the way around to ensure the seal. Use your fingers to smooth out wrinkles or creases. If you identify a leak, use excess vac drape along the outer edge of drape to seal leaks. When canister is installed, a distinct click will be heard indicating it has been properly installed. Check to make sure the dressing tubing is properly connected to the canister. Check the tubing connectors to ensure that they are fully engaged and locked. Upon correcting a leak condition, a small delay will occur before the therapy unit senses the correction and silences the alerts.